The Ovation Prime Aortic Body Stent Graft Delivery System is inserted into the vasculature over a guide wire. Using fluoroscopic guidance, the delivery system is advanced about one centimeter proximal to the intended landing site. The aortic body is oriented laterally to align the two short delivery system markers on each side of the guide wire and place the long delivery system marker towards the patient's ipsilateral side. The delivery system outer sheath is fully retracted while holding the handle stationary to uncover the graft. The proximal stent is partially deployed by turning and pulling the first stent release knob on the handle. Using fluoro, the C-arm is oriented to align the eight markers at the top of the graft to achieve an orthogonal view. This allows for precise positioning of the graft at the intended landing site. A contrast injection is used to confirm graft positioning, after which the angiocatheter is retracted. The proximal stent is fully deployed by turning and pulling the second stent release knob. The stent anchors are now engaged and the graft fixed in place. The fill polymer kit stopcocks are opened and the polymer is mixed using a minimum of 20 full syringe strokes. The green cap is removed from the polymer injection port on the delivery system handle, and the polymer-filled syringe is connected. The auto-injector is pushed over the syringe plunger and locked into place by rotating 90 degrees. The fill polymer begins filling the graft. The polymer is radiopaque, allowing the filling of the graft to be observed under fluoroscopy. The graft fills in approximately one minute. As the polymer cures, the contralateral leg of the aortic body is cannulated with a guide wire. A connection between the aortic body legs and the delivery system eases cannulation. An iliac limb delivery system is advanced over the guide wire on the contralateral side and into the aortic body leg. Appropriate overlap of the iliac limb and aortic body leg is achieved by aligning the iliac limb graft proximal markers with the half ring of the aortic body leg. The iliac limb is deployed by retracting the outer sheath while holding the handle stationary. Maintaining the position of the sheath, the handle is retracted until the nose cone is reseated into its outer sheath. Keeping the guide wire in position, the iliac limb system is withdrawn. After the appropriate amount of time has passed, the aortic body can be released from its delivery system. The final release knob is turned and pulled away from the handle, releasing the connection between the aortic body and its delivery system. The inner catheter is retracted until the fill lumen disengages from the stent graft. The nose cone is reseated into its outer sheath. While keeping the guide wire in position, the aortic body delivery system is withdrawn. The ipsilateral iliac limb delivery system is advanced and deployed in the same manner as the contralateral iliac limb. While keeping the guide wire in position, the ipsilateral limb delivery system is withdrawn. An angiocatheter is advanced to the suprarenal aorta and a completion angiogram is performed to confirm aneurysm exclusion and graft patency.